This is me and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm actually going to teach you the thing that I forgot to do in the two dress video and it is the UV mapping. So I'm just going to teach you how to do the UV mapping and I am using the Maya 2022 and while I'm doing it, I'm going to explain why, why do we do UV mapping? <laughs> So yes, uh, I am also recording this live, so I'm very sorry for my uh, stutters and grammatical errors, okay? So let's get started, meow! In this uh, workspace, as you can see, it's the tube dress that I made in the last video. I mean, in one of my videos, and I, <laughs> out of habit, I forgot to do UV mapping. Now, what is UV mapping? UV mapping is um, a guide. A guide if you would want to design your item manually, like in Photoshop or in Ibis Paint. You can resize pictures, add some gradients, something like that. Uh, although I always skip UV mapping since I only use patterns and basic colors but uh, some people I mean some creators do UV maps because it lets you create certain unique items which has letters on it like for example on the chest part you'll add baby something like that <laughs> uh, you can only do that if you have the UV map now let's start on how to uh, create and adjust a UV map so you'll need to click your item of course and then click on this part I mean this tab UV and then click UV editor now this will pop out of your screen but I'm going I, I, I don't use this <laughs> I don't use this UV toolkit so let's just exit that so to create a UV map, always remember that uh, this this item, I'm sorry for my dog, uh, this item can't overlap the other squares. I mean, how can I explain it? Uh, it should be just right here, but not here, okay? It should not go beyond the line if, if it's right. So yes. Um, I just double clicked it and then click R to resize it. Uh, it's better if you go big since if you go big, imagine it, uh, you have a dress and if your uh, cloth is big, you can create designs, high quality ones, right? Now, if you think that it's compressed, if you add it to your item, it will be stretched and it will not be high quality anymore. So it's better if you have your UV as big as possible. So I'm going to maximize the space. And the shorts, we don't really need to adjust that. And so this is our UV map. Just click F8. And then I personally just click this camera button right here. After you click that, you can see my settings is 24 to 8. Uh, you can make this. Um, I forgot. I forgot the settings. 115. Uh, there is a certain setting in uh, Zepeto Studio. It is required, but I am using the old version of Unity. That's why it does not affect me in any way. So don't forget to use png as your image format and then just click browse um let me create a folder let's say to press sample and then click that and then we'll save the uv here i'm just going to name it uv 
and then click apply and close and with that it is actually saved but um we we still need to save the file since we changed the uv mapping we'll need to resave this file so click exit and then export it once again now if you don't export it the uv map won't match the item so you'll have to resave it okay yes and that's it i created a uv file now you can just edit that in photoshop or in uh ibis paint i personally like ibis paint because i am more comfortable with my phone but i i can actually do it in photoshop so if you would want me to have a photoshop tutorial on how to create uv maps there uh just comment it down below okay so yes as always thank you so much for watching and bye bye